sex education is important for everyone, but because society thinks that it's improper for women to talk about that, they miss out the opportunity to actually understand their body and own their body. Hi. Outspoken feminists talking about things like sex and culture in a conservative country. I get a lot of backlash. I get a lot of people accusing me of ruining my own culture. So stay the Akani and Yum Kav. From a jarai. We have the Women's Code of Conduct that has been written for a few hundred years and people still believe that it's a representation of what women should do. Our blog could be kind of like a part of the movement, I think, the quiet movement that have been happening for so many years of like just people saying their truth and yeah, speaking about it confidently. I receive a lot, a lot of negative comments, not just under the videos, not just publicly under the videos, under YouTube or Facebook. I believe that speaking out has changed people's minds or at least create a dialogue. <laughs> when she talks out about that title and that topic, women seem like feel fresh, feel encouragement, feel inspired to learn that we not only can do that, but we can do the other step. I think still the video opportunity that it reached like millions of people in Cambodia, women that has no virginity is like no value. No, it's not. If you look at it, on the positive side, all of the d disagreement and, and the discourse surrounding uh, the things we talk about um, is actually a sign that people are actually having more critical thinking. People are actually more invested in these discussions that can lead to something better. I think that's the first step to every kind of change. Like just do what you had to do, say what you have to say.